In this video, we're going to show you how to make WooCommerce product thumbnails clickable uh, so that when someone is in your shop or your shop category pages, they can click on these thumbnails and go right to the product. Out of the box, WooCommerce doesn't do that. You, it actually just links uh, the price and the product name uh, to the actual product. And of course, the add to cart button does exactly that. It adds it to cart. But we get a lot of customer requests on how can we link these to our products, and we're gonna show you how to do that today. It's gonna to take a little bit of coding chops, uh, but we'll provide the code, the snippet of code, and where to put that in your theme. Okay, the first thing we wanna do is make a child theme of your theme. Uh, today's tutorial will show you how to do this with any WordPress theme. We are using the Simple Shop theme uh, from our company, Slocum Themes, and we do have a one-click child theme creator. Uh, and the importance of creating a child theme is so that when we add this custom code that we will today, uh, when you update your theme or you update your plugins, our custom functionality doesn't get overwritten uh, or modified, so you're safe to upgrade. It's not the case in 100% in of the use cases, uh, but certainly 90 to 95%, uh, this is the best method. So if you are using a Slocum theme, you can come in and create a child theme if you haven't already. Uh, name it your theme and go ahead and hit create child theme. We already have one created here. It's called my child theme and it's already set to active. We create multiples with our themes, uh, but in this case, we're just gonna use one. And now we'll show you how to edit that functions PHP file in that child theme to make our thumbnails clickable. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is head on over to appearance and then editor. And on the right hand side, what we wanna do is click on our themes functions file, functions.php. Uh, again, this is a brand new child theme that we created here for this example. The only files here are functions.php and style.css. Your theme might vary. You might have some more files in here. Um, and you might not be using the built-in admin editor. Uh, I'd actually recommend that you don't. You probably want to use something like a Sublime Text or one of your favorite code editors to do this through FTP. But for the example today, we already have the code snippet written out. So we're going to just paste it in here. And then we're going to save that. And before I explain what we're doing here, I just want to show you we paste it in. We hit update file. We're gonna switch over, and now you can see that our links, our, our thumbnails are clickable. So now they actually click into uh, the product, right? Go back, try the other one, click that, and it goes right into our product. So let's go back to the functions PHP file and just quickly explain. Uh, this isn't a developer podcast for sure, but let's take a look at what we've changed. Uh, WooCommerce has a function, uh, and it's labeled WooCommerce get product thumbnail and that's getting the thumbnail of your product. Uh, and by default, it doesn't have any, a link attribute, right? So what we've done is we've modified this function, we've put it into our functions PHP file, we've added this uh, a tag, which is saying, hey, wrap this post thumbnail in a link, that link will be the permalink, or excuse me, the post ID uh, of our uh, post. Uh, and our post, uh, as WordPress considers it, is this WooCommerce product. So it's going to link our product with its, or link our product thumbnail with its link to the product, <laughs> if that makes sense. And uh, now, uh, magically, our post thumbnails are clickable. Uh, again, that's how you add clickable links to your WooCommerce thumbnail products. Uh, this episode is brought to you by Simple Shop Pro. You can get that at slocumthemes.com. There's a free version called Simple Shop. If you just Google Simple Shop theme, you will find both of those. Thanks for subscribe or thanks for listening. And if you want to subscribe, it's youtube.com slash Slocum Studio.